body, the head, the chest, the abdomen, the back, the upper limb, yeah, the the um, uh, the arms, the mid arm, the forearm, the shoulder, the um, uh, every part of the body that's meeting marks. Forty nine are, are listed. But if you if you look further into the 49 injuries, some of the injuries are two or three separate injuries. And total we've come up to almost 61 separate marks of injuries. You know what this means? This means Karna Nidhi, his brother and her son, was severely tortured and beaten in police custody. And he died. He died in police custody. Now, uh, unfortunately, in, in what I call a ridiculous conclusion, the post-mortem report concluded that the dead back was caused by petty change of liver. Despite 60 separate torture marks, look at what the forensic pathologist says, petty change of liver. Okay? Look, nobody drops down and dies from petty change of liver. It doesn't work that way. It is a long process. So it's a very close conclusion. Okay, now, the point we are making is this. Until today, uh, the death occurred when? When did they die? First of, uh, first of uh, June. First of June. First of June. Okay. The death occurred on first of June. Post mortem report was out within days. Until today, no police officer has been arrested. No serious investigation has been concluded. Nobody has been charged. And yet we have got a post mortem report confirming that this poor man, Karnanidhi, was severely tortured and beaten while he was in police custody. And here's scientific evidence. I want to ask this. Apa alasan PDRM, Kotopolis Negara, Kotopolis Negeri Sembilan, dan Menteri Dalam Negeri itu, Zahid, yang selalu bagi alasan mengapa tak ambil tindakan, apa alasan langsung tiada tangkapan, tiada tindakan atas anggota polis yang memukul dan menyiksa kawanan itu sampai hari ini? It's very serious, okay? They've got no excuse for this. And yet, you will remember, just last week, the Zaid Hamidi came to the Lewan and claimed that only 2 out of 231 cases of death in custody was caused by police action, the rest were health reasons. Is this health reason? See, petty change of liver, they will say it's health reason. But you can see 61 marks of injuries. So, we want an immediate explanation from the authorities and immediate action on this case. Very serious case. It is also one of the worst torture beating cases we have seen in a long time. Because even if the conclusion is not the death caused by the injuries, which is a ridiculous conclusion anyway, what is the explanation for 61 marks of injuries? Okay. Uh, I just add a few facts to the uh, statement uh, made by Mr. Uh, just to introduce the name, that is, uh, elder brother is Mr. Ism Charyan, standing there with the tie. Mother is Madam Janaki. To remind ourselves uh, why this case is very serious, and even if it doesn't amount to a 3 or 2 murder charge, it will definitely qualify as a 3 or 4 culpable for this It's also very serious. Um, Karuna was arrested on the 28th of May, Tuesday. Uh, the family got to see him on Wednesday. Yes. He looked fine. Absolutely fine. Friday, he was brought to Tempin Magistrate Court. The also fine, yeah. They confirmed that. Yeah, fine. He looked fine. No injuries, no bruises, nothing. So from Friday after he went back to the lockup. The next day, the next day. Where's Saturday. Lockup? Saturday. Which lockup? Uh, Balai Police Tampin. Balai Police Tampin. Friday to Saturday, this man was brutally beaten and which results in the 16 injuries which my Mr. Rindal had just mentioned. 9.45 Saturday morning, 1st of June. Uh, evening. Uh, evening, 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 so night time, at night. Evening, they get a call in the evening, 9.45 p.m. Yeah, p.m. The family gets a call saying he's dead, died at 6.30. 6.30 uh, p.m. That was 6.30 p.m. These are the facts. I think you don't need to go to have, you don't need to have many law degrees or you don't need to go to the university to understand the basic. Why have the police not charged anybody 
so far. All, all the injuries that have been caused to Karna. Whether or not the medical conclusion is something else that is happened by the It cannot be denied here based on the report itself that the injuries were caused by a blunt object. To a blunt object was used to cause these injuries. So uh, it's our question today. To uh, this case is highly publicized, so I think uh, I want to I want to lay the door of the plane right from the Home Minister. He knows about this case. The AG and the IG. The three of you are together covering up the serious crime. That's what we want to say today. The three of you are covering up crime. And as long as no police officer is arrested and charged for at least three or four offences under the penal code, we will continue to repeat this accusation. The board is the Home Minister, AG, and I. You are collectively covering up a serious crime, and this family of the NPCs is here. Uh, can you imagine for them? They are son and their brother goes into the lockup for four days, ends up late, and after that there's nothing else. We have a criminal justice system. It does not work. There's no justice as far as this level is concerned. So, I, I, mean, I think I, I, all of us are here calling for immediate action based on the, the documentation we have. And uh, whoever the individual or the individuals who cause all these injuries to come down, and we definitely let them do that, must be under control. Otherwise, what the Home Minister Zahid Hamidi said in the day one is a whole lot of rubbish. And what he's just simply doing is perpetrating the culture of impunity. A culture where you can do any serious crime and you know that you're not going to be under control.